Okay, you see these trees right here? You see all the roots on them? I basically stuck them in water here for about two weeks. Um, so we got cuttings from those. I'm not sure what kind of tree that is, but they're really drought tolerant and they grow very, very fast. Um, I'm gonna look them up. This, these are willow trees and they've rooted. Uh, same thing, I put them in water for about two weeks. You see the tiny little roots on them. And these are pomegranates, which are just starting to root as well. And then these are some other like flower tree things. Um, so I was going to try to make a video on how to actually do this, since we have been successful. And it's about taking not this year's growth, but last year's growth. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're looking at an apple tree here in really bad lighting. But uh, as you can tell, as you, as you can't fucking tell, because it's fucking lighting. Okay, so this is the tree I'm cloning here. I take cuttings from. So what you're looking for, you see that? You can kind of tell that's a little bit greener. That's this year's growth, which is quite a bit. That's why I want to clone them. But as the color changes, let's see if we can get this right. You see how that looks a lot fresher on the top, and then this stick down below is from last year. You see how it's a bit richer, it's got a bit more stock. And then, you see it turns into this year's growth. You see that, the difference? So you go down to where you want to cut it. You want about six to 10 inches. So I'll go down, down here to where like last year's started, right? And I'm gonna cut straight on there and then trim the new growth off. So I'm only left with that like six to eight inch stick. I put it straight in the water and the roots will start coming out. And it's actually cool because this plant in particular, you see, if I bend this into the light, you see these tiny little bumps on the thing already, on the, on the bark? That's where the roots are actually coming out of once you put it in water. So they're already primed, ready to be rooted. They're just looking for water. So cut off last year's growth, get rid of this year's growth, stick it in the water for a couple weeks, let it root and then stick it back in the soil it wants to be in. Also, it's gonna help a lot to put it in the shade to start it. Don't do the cuttings and then put them directly into the sun. Put them under or in some shade and um, you can increase your chances by putting a plastic bag on top of it and keep it humid, keep it wet. And uh, that's how you do it, there you go. And the same would go for any other kind of tree. Same thing, you can see this year's growth, last year's growth. Right, there you go. You can see the distinction. Sorry for the bad lighting, but you want to take a nice section of that, get rid of the new growth, stick that in water, and same again. You'll see some, in, even on this one, there are some bumps on the stem there, and that's where the roots are going to come out of. There you go.